Hey sweeties, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tari Karimba. Thank you for tuning in today and taking the time to watch this video. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe. Okay, so before we get into the video, your girl made it to the Navia Skinfluencer Top 20 series. Please, can you click on the link in my bio to vote for me? To vote, you need to click the ballot box next to my name, Felicitas Tarizai Karemba, and that is how you will cast your vote. Also, remember to share it with your friends, family, colleagues, anyone you can share it with, and please support me so I can be in the top 10. Anyway, let's get into the video. So today, we are going to talk about why your foundation creases or separates and just dealing with smile lines as well so yeah in this video i'm going to be showing you how to make sure that your foundation stops separating that you stop having crease marks and your um smile lines also don't you know ruin your makeup so yeah let's begin so the first step which is very very important is to prep your skin for makeup guys a lot of people just put on foundation or put on makeup without doing anything to prepare the skin and you can't do that all skin types are very different not only that but you know during the day maybe like you're someone who gets really oily really sweaty really dry all of those things that your skin does affects how your makeup is going to look and whether it's going to be long lasting um, without separating and all of that so yeah prepping your skin is extremely important so when i say you need to prep your skin this is what i need you to do first you need to moisturize your skin guys um yes after you take your shower or whatever you moisturize but then you can't bank on the moisturizer from the time when you took your shower <laughs> you just can't do that so i go in with two moisturizers i go in with my nivea rich nourishing body lotion and the neutrogena hydro boost gel cream so these are my two moisturizers okay so i'm just gonna and then of course rub it in now i'm going in with the second moisturizer the hydro boost <sighs> It's a lot, guys. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, cool. So once your skin is moisturized, the next step that you need to take in your prep process is to put on a primer. So primer is very, very important because it is formulated to help, you know, get your makeup to stick and stay longer. I recommend a pore filling primer simply because that does, you know, help block off um the different smile lines or wrinkles or whatever that you will have already another pro tip is to use a mattifying primer so today i'm going to be using a pore filling primer this is the maybelline baby skin instant pore eraser um yeah this is what it looks like okay cool so i'm just going in with that primer around my t-zone okay because i know that is the part that separates for me because it's usually the oily part okay after that i'm going in where i get my smile lines so my smile lines as you can see are in here into my cheek area so i have to make sure that the primer in this area is like proper okay another area that i need to focus on is here my eyes so as you can see whenever i smile i get creasing a lot um here so it's very important for me to make sure that i also get enough primer in there and the last part for me is my forehead as you can see i like to do this a lot right because of like you guys know my facial expressions i might be like or oh, whatever so it's very important for me to get some primer in there um because that's also an area for me that is 
prone to creasing <laughs> okay so that is how you prep your skin to make sure that your foundation doesn't crease and you don't get visible smile lines okay so the next thing that you need to do is to pick the right product and by that i mean pick the right foundation it is very important for you to do that because all products perform differently okay so for example something that is dewy um, is more likely to move around whereas something that is mattifying is more likely to stay in place so for this step i always like to go in with a full coverage mattifying foundation like i said earlier it tends to stay in place so i'm going in with my next can't stop won't stop foundation and i'm in the shade deep sable when you're applying your foundation it's very important to go in a layer at a time and to spread it thinly so don't put on too much foundation because then that's another thing that makes it creasy too much product so yeah just go in with your sponge and just apply it and spread it like you can see now even though i've put on foundation i've spread it out and it's not looking you know too layered or cakey or anything like that so that's what you need to continue to do with the product make sure you spread it out and blend it properly because that is very very important so with this step like don't even rush just take it like a step at a time do a small portion at a time and just keep going until you're done So as you can see i finished applying the product and it is applied everywhere it's applied evenly it's not too thick it's not too much product everything is looking fine so now the next thing that you need to do is to make sure that before each next step that you have no creasing so check your areas that usually crease before you apply the next product to make sure that there is no creasing and it's still covered by product so i'm going in now with my la girl pro concealer in fawn oh, and i'm just going to apply the product so i'm going to let my concealer sit a little bit um just so it can get thicker but the other thing that you need to remember once you've started applying product is to not move your mouth or just move around too much because you know for example if i were to smile right now i'm gonna get some creasing here and here so yeah during this whole process you need to avoid changing your facial expressions in such a way that is going to result in creasing Okay, so of course once you've blended in your concealer what you need to move on to now is powder powder is very very important I know a lot of people that say that oh I don't like to use powder in my face because I have dry skin or you know because um, I end up looking ashy or whatever and powder is important because it's gonna set your makeup in place it's gonna help it stay in place so if you don't apply any powder you're honestly playing yourself because then it's just gonna like melt away and then what have you done nothing wasted product <laughs> so yeah um powder is very important and also before you apply your powder you need to make sure that you are um that you have no creasing so if you see any creasing anywhere go back over that with your beauty sponge for example my eyes have creased so obviously i'm gonna have to go over them before i put the powder because once i put the powder it's set i can't go back i can't go back and fix it or change it so yeah okay cool so you can go in with your beauty sponge or you can go in with a brush i'm going in with a brush today so when you tap when you put your um brush into the powder make sure that you also tap off the excess so that you have enough okay and then i'm just going to start um patting it in i'm not going to bake also guys baking is not for everyone that's another thing we need to talk about baking is not for everyone don't do that thing <laughs> don't do it just tap it in like 
like so so for example you can see that this side is powdered and then this side is not powdered um, you don't have to put in like so so much product or powder or whatever to get it to stay in place as long as you put enough that's all that you need to do so again I'm gonna move on now to the next part that I can sealed okay so as you can see i have now powdered my face okay so this is extremely 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 important powder is going to help everything stay in place and not move around so now i'm going to go off camera and to do the rest of my face because it is irrelevant to this video and then i'll come back with the final step which of course is going to seal everything together so the last step that you need to follow to make sure that your makeup stays in place and doesn't crease or you get um, smile marks or any of that is to set it okay setting spray is important guys setting spray is important setting spray is going to tie everything together setting spray is going to marry the powder and the liquid and the everything you put on your face okay so you can't actually get through the day and make sure that your makeup doesn't move or crease or anything if you don't set it it does make sense okay it will not work <laughs> if you don't set your face when you're done you're honestly playing yourself honestly like it's important okay so the setting sprays that I usually gravitate towards are the wet and wild natural finish setting spray because this gives me a natural finish but then it also helps my makeup stay in place but um, the goat okay the goat of makeup staying in place forever ever okay is this hand right here okay this is the Maybelline lasting fix <sighs> this is my summer go-to because honestly guys like my makeup stays in place like if i look at different things i started using this in december of last year and during that december i mean i went to a wala i went to like different like brides and stuff um i went to different parties i went out i went out you know you know the vibes you know how summer is you know how december is guys and let me tell you i would leave the house with my makeup i would get back home with my makeup in place regardless of whatever activity dancing whatever happened so I kid you not this hand works wonders so yeah um, usually this is what I go to in summer um, and this is my like everyday vibe as well but another thing that I've been enjoying doing is actually mixing the two <laughs> so yeah so first I go in with the wet and wild mm. You guys know what I say, don't be stingy with setting spray. So I'm gonna let that dry and then when that's dry, I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline on top. Okay, so once that's done, I'm now going in with the Maybelline setting spray. Ah, <sighs> yeah. Okay, so now that you have applied your setting spray, just again, avoid hectic movements until the product dries and then, yeah, and then your makeup is set. So I'm just going to let it set while I do my brows and then I'm going to come back and, you know, say my goodbyes. Okay, guys, so now I have brows on and something on my lips. So, of course, the look is done. Um, yeah, just like chilled everyday vibes. I love a good base. Like, this is literally me all the time these days. I'm really feeling this. Um, yeah, and as you can see, my makeup is looking hydrated because of all of that hydrating we did in the beginning and all the products we used in between. Um, that just put it all together but obviously it's also in place so as you can see even though I just finished doing my makeup I have been talking throughout and as you can see I don't have any like of my usual like problems yet like frown lines I don't have the um, I don't have creasing in here or separating so yeah life's good and life is going to stay good <laughs> But anyway, basically guys, those are the tips that I have to help you make sure that your makeup doesn't separate or crease um, and so that your frown lines don't um, peak. So yeah, I hope you guys find these useful. I hope you guys tried this out and remember to comment, like, and subscribe. Also, 
if you haven't voted for me to be a skin influencer what are you doing <laughs> what are you doing are you not ashamed are you not embarrassed please get it together okay please vote for your girl i'd really appreciate it anyway guys um yeah so we are done i'm not going to do my halloween look for today's look i didn't post for the past two days because it's been the pits it's been the pits it's been the pits <laughs> i talked about this in my vlog that's coming up on saturday so you know be on the lookout for a vlog anyway thanks for taking the time to watch this sweetie if this works for you or if you tried this you know tag me let me know send me a photo good luck you've got this <laughs> remember to comment like and subscribe